So in this video we're going to have a look at the machines that are available on the Digitact. So I've loaded in the, this sample on track 1. And currently it is in one shot mode but to access different machines within the Digitax all we do is press function and then the SRC page. This brings up four different types of machines where, which we can choose from. So the first one which is the default that it's on is one shot. This is um, basically just a one shot. Uh, all we have warp which is warp. Uh, repitch and slice so I'll just run through them all now and um, just show you what, what the, each of them mean so one shot is basically what it means it just means a one shot and you determine what how what the length of the one shot is by the amp so for example if we had a long um, sort of loop like this one is we could put the amp page and then we could set that to infinite and then this would play throughout the whole of the uh, sample or loop itself and then stop at the end. And then stop at the end, so that's the one shot. We can obviously control the length of the shot by um, well, shortening it down by the length. So if we increase that up to maybe just there, let's say, and then play it, it would only play that bit. Um, the good thing about this is it's basically, well, this this basically this machine is, is for one shots. It's for your short sort of kick samples and your, your high, like maybe hi-hat sample if you're wanting to get stuff um, just in, in one shot uh, sample itself. So this is good for that. Um, the other tune, the other stuff that we can do on this is obviously the tune, tuning. Um, we can do that, the tuning, we can alter the play mode so we can have this in reverse, so starting from the back end of the sample all the way to the front. So as you can see by the playhead it's in reverse. Um, we can have re reverse loop, so this would mean that it would continuously loop. Depending on the loop point that is. So the loop point is your point where it starts to loop from. So because it's in reverse, it's starting from the end and then finishing where you've set the loop point. Um, the same uh, goes for that, but for the forward loop, so it starts from the forward point. And then your loop point is where, when it finishes, it goes back to that point and then starts again. And then we have forward, which we've seen already, that just plays it one shot forward. So going back onto this page as well, we have the uh, bit rate reduction. Along with the sample itself, uh, we've mentioned these three, which are the start, the length and the loop. And then we have the overall level for the sample itself, along with the mixer level. So with WERP, what WERP is, is a, it's a machine that allows samples and loops to be automatically stretched to the tempo of the project or pattern. Um, the stretching is achieved through warping the audio and the sample is cut into small time segments and played consecutively aligned to the tempo. So on the top four sections here we have 
uh, tuning which is the exact same as what we have before we have the play mode which we have reverse reverse loop forward loop and forward and then we have a bit rate reduction along with this selection of the sample itself on this bottom row what we have is we have segment mode bars and level so starting off on this bottom row what we'll start off is is with bars this is how um, how much the sample is stretched into so for example if I put this to eight bars the sample will be stretched into eight bars now into four into two and then into one so this um, is in conjunction with the segment section and what the segment section is is this determines the size of the segments so effectively setting the number of segments the sample is cut into so this is measured in 132 segments 1 16th segments uh, and 1 8th segments and then this brings us on to the mode which the mode is when these segments are cut into the gaps of how it's been stretched is how it will be played so in forward mode it would mean that we'd have a gap whereas in loop mode it would loop in that gap uh, again with reverse and then reverse mode so let's just hear this out and let's just play for example i'll start off with four bars you can hear that choppiness because they're your segments that's a one eighth segment one sixteenth and really choppy 132s so this to get a more smoother sound you might want to try and use the forward loop mode That's quite a nice effect. You can see what it's doing, it's going back, forth, back, forth, back and forth. So in that mode, in the work mode, you can get some nice sort of textures coming out, uh, especially if you increase the bit crushing. It sort of gets rid of them clicks somehow. It makes them less obvious. So that is work mode. Next up, we will have a look at repitch. So, in repitch mode, what this does it allows samples and loops to be automatically stretched to the tempo of the pattern. It does this by automatically applying repitching of the sample to match the target tempo. So, for this one, for example, if I press play. It's re-pitched it over four bars, but if I go to one bar, it'll be more high-pitched. Because we're, we're condensing the sound down, which makes the peaks more choppy and more together, which means it goes up in higher in pitch. So over two bars. So if we, so let's say for example, this sample is over four bars. So four bars, this would should just sound the same as what the tempo is, depending on what the tempo of the loop is so for example if our loop was a 95 bpm and our bpm on here is 120 bpm then that would be stretched over four bars so if we go into the tempo and then let's say we go down to let's say 90 You also on this one have your play mode so you've got your reverse you've got your reverse loop your forward loop and your forward you've got your bit rate reduction you've got the sample choice the start position 
and the end position better if I show you on this drawing so if you will notice the length is always determined by your start position so if you if you notice that they're both moving together then that is how that works uh, we've said what the bars does it just stretches it to how many bars we want it to be stretched to and then the overall level of the sample itself along with the track level up next is slice mode so slice mode is one of my favorites because um, it basically slices up the audio into different slices so on the top here what we have is the overall tune of the sample we have our play modes again so we have reverse reverse loop forward loop and forward we have bit rate reduction along with the sample choice on this bottom row we have slice length grid and levels so slice is where you pick a slice so pick one of 64 slices the length is the length of what the slice is played at so if you have taken this and you've chopped it up into eight slices this will determine how many slices it's played through and this is your grid so this is how many slices you have within your um, your loop so if we go onto this page it we can show you from this so you can see now this is divided up into four sections so if we go in the chromatic mode we can use our keyboard to play each one of these sections so the more grid we add the more keys and the more variety we can have within the sound and rearrange it that way and you'll notice we've got a bit of a click at the start so we can get rid of that by just adding a bit of attack time a little bit too much still a bit there but very minimal you can that's that's the taste really um, so going back onto this page we have obviously our grid mode we can have up to 64 grids and we could play that over four octaves so we've got um, we've got octave four three two one and then plus one so once we've selected our grids, we let's say we've got 16 of these and we're happy with our attack, so we've not got really many clicks. We can set the overall length of this. Now this is on two, so if you'll notice, it will go over two of the grids. One, two, and then stop. We could set this to one if we just wanted that grid to be played. Or we can say up to the full 64 the full loop length what would be nice with this is this should be really determined by how many of these two so because you've got 16 grids this should only really go up to 16 and that and 16 as well so yeah um, and if you notice there so if I select um, so I'm in chromatic mode now so that means I can play the full the full loop which is good but if I just wanted to say I liked say I liked that one so I know that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it should be number ten I think yeah and then you can play that sample or that segment chromatically through the keyboard so it will now turn into pitch and then go down Lovely 
jumbler. So you can see you can come up with some really nice stuff with these engines um, and it's just a matter of just playing about with it, seeing what works, seeing what fits um, and then yeah they're the engines, they're the machines should I say within the Digitat. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.